welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're taking out the uh, SU-27, the regular version of the SM, um, and we are actually in the Fox 3 era, so this is post-patch. We're taking out the old, the old uh, best plane at top tier. We've got just the standard loadout that I was taking out before Fox 3 is dropped. We've got the four R27ERs, the two 27ETs, and uh, four R73s out on the wingtips there. Um, it's a pretty difficult plane to fly um, post patch. At 12.7, uh, you're pretty much going to be seeing the uh, 15C SU20 SMs or SU27 SMs, uh, and a lot of other planes with uh, with Fox 3s, which you know is a challenge because the R27 ER and ETs are fast, fast missiles, very fast, but you still need time, and you still need to keep people locked up, and most of the time uh, until they're well within range of, uh, of AMRAMs or, or other Fox 3 missiles, so it's a, it's a dangerous plane to fly, you really don't have a ton of advantages other than, I would say that the R20, R73s are the best close range IR missiles currently. Uh, they have been for some time and they still are. And the uh, R27 uh, ET is still a very good missile. This person's. Let's see if they're notching already. I'm gonna lob one off at them. We're gonna keep our eyes down low. You know, that's kind of the problem here. You have to keep those locks. I, I, I can't afford to keep that lock there. I know that there's. There's a missile coming after me here, so I have to start defending and uh, break off. Typically how I fly the SU-27 in the handful of times I've flown it post-patch. That might get a little close to us. Uh, I like to let fur balls develop, and then from there I have the, the ability to lock someone up without uh, having a, a Fox 3 lob at me. And uh, I can I can go to work that way, or the uh, R27ET. If I see someone at high altitude, that's definitely an option for me. Or even right here. Let's see if I can lock one of these guys up. I'll lock him up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn away right now because he has no warning that that's coming at him. He's gonna bomb, uh, but he he really has no clue that that's coming after him. And there we go. I so badly wish that this could carry four, or. The, uh, the ETs under the belly, but uh, just does not have that capability, and that's okay. I'm not sure what he's doing, actually. He might be an S-15A, but uh, we're going to extend away nonetheless there. We're going to get low here. See if we can... There we go, we got a crit, but we're going to have to defend pretty aggressively. That's an IR missile. I think I can just straight up outrun it. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of how you have to play this. You have to play it always on the back foot. You never really get to be offensive in this thing. There it goes at 9M. I wouldn't be surprised if I catch a 120 here. I'm actually surprised he's still flying. He ate that R73. Um, so he's going to pull off, but I'm going to lob an R70. Oh, he's turning back in. He's trying to bait me into uh, getting close there. The uh, he's pretty well cooked. His, his engine's going to start failing him here. So I'm just going to keep extending. We have a small game, so I don't have to worry about too many people. I just need to get this thing off, and it'll catch him here. I'm going to lock him up in case he decides to do that nonsense again. He's turning around. I'll load up an R. He's actually not turning around. So we're going to keep him locked up. I do know that there's a... Uh, I'm going to log that off, actually. He does not see that coming. Um, and that's going to catch him. At 7 kilometers, that's got the speed, I believe, to catch him. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's okay. Um, we've got our... There we go. And that's really what I like the most about the ET. No warning. No rate R, RWR warning. And if they don't aggressively flare... There we go. 
if they don't aggressively flare, you know, it's basically a free kill. It's a very fast and dangerous missile, and I've definitely been caught on the other end of it, uh, flying even F-15C, uh, because you have to be paying attention for it. Uh, if you see any kind of Russian plane that can carry the R-27ET, that's definitely something to pay attention to. Uh, because you could have it coming at you and you really have no idea. Anyway, let's get into the next game. Alright, uh, we're back in the next game here. Uh, it's like a, a full game, so we definitely need to be aware of that, that there's going to be more people out here slinging missiles. Uh, one thing that definitely has changed with the SU-27 playstyle and War Thunder top tier in general uh, multi-pathing is really not a thing anymore unless you have water or can get really close to the ground it's really not reliable so in the past you know you have an arm uh, an SU-27 and you just ride the deck and lob off your uh, your 27 ERs and you know that was a pretty, pretty easy way to rack up some kills that's not really the case anymore even if you do have Fox 3 missiles multi-pathing is just not super reliable especially when the terrain is a little bit harder to follow or you, know, you have hills it just becomes pretty difficult to follow, follow the ground there so in general I try to see if there's an opportunity for me to get a 27 ER off at the start see what I can lock up with TWS unfortunately you cannot launch a 27 ER with a TWS a lock you need to actually have them locked up on radar Mm, let's see. I might lob one off of this person. Put him at the edge there and uh, let's see. I probably should have checked down in that area to see if there was someone closing. But uh, we're gonna just have to deal. So he looks like he notched that. So let's go ahead and see if there's anyone down here that we can lock up potentially or someone. And that missile, I'm still gonna use that missile. Mm. So can we get an ET lock? No. Okay, we're gonna have to start defending here. We're gonna have to start defending. Someone down low, I think, lobbed one off. Um, so that's okay, we'll defend. We'll go a little bit cold here. And then uh, we'll just sort of fall back into our team. And let things develop and see if we can pick someone off. I think that was a low altitude uh, Fox 3 that was shot at me, so I don't really think it's going to have the speed to, to get up here. So this would be a good opportunity while this uh, Gripen is flying through this group. He's dead, so don't have to worry about him anymore. Um, switch back to TWS. See someone over there. Let's see if they're closing. No, they're heading away from us. That person is closing. That person's closing, so we'll lob off the ER there. That should close that gap fairly quickly, as long as it's on A4B, which... It, no, it doesn't look like it is, so let's lob that off. They shot their missile, let's go ahead and track it. It's the F-16, should get there pretty quick. There we go, and we're going to turn cold right away. Two flares there, a few uh, chaff. We're going to head this way. Another thing you have to be careful of in the uh, SU-27 is the wings are a little bit fragile. They like to they like to rip sometimes, so you do have to be careful. We probably have people coming up on our 6 there, so I need to be careful there as well. I don't know... I don't know if uh, that was launched at us, but we look like we're pretty much in the notch there, so I'm going to... I think it just flew past us. Maybe. I'm not super worried about it at this point. This guy's thinking this our team is all dead. fast so I need to sort of take a little bit of caution here that's gonna smack that tornado I think there we go we got him out of there 
I think I'm fairly safe in terms of missiles. Oh no, there's something coming our way. Got some countermeasures. We're gonna have to extend away here a bit. So I'm out of ERs at this point, or ETs, excuse me. I'm gonna start recommitting here because we need to help out our RSM friend. I don't see anything in front of me. Gimble edge. Hopefully. That's unfortunate for us. I'm try to lock them up here. I'm a hard time locking him up there. There we go. Crit, so we're gonna sort of extend away now. It'd be nice to get this close quarters the best I can. There's more than just these two, so we do have to be a little bit careful. This doesn't have the most countermeasures. Oh, I don't know how he's still on. That's a little unfortunate. So we'll have to loop under here, try to get a missile off. Coming around, we're gonna have to turn it in. I'm just gonna flip out here, see if we can stay out of his guns. Alright, we're not so that's, um, that's really kind of his advantage of having the, uh, the SU 27. See if I can get off in time. Nope. That's gonna do it for this one. Not a ton we can do in that situation. I was worried that the uh, SM was going to get a missile off. I was hoping he would die first, but it uh, didn't work out that way in the uh, F-40. The, the Phantom the just RTB'd, so it didn't play out how I thought it was going to, but that's okay. We'll uh, get back into the next game. Alright, here we are in another one in the uh, SU-27. Um, it's a small game, so that's good. I've been seeing more and more of these pop up, which is nice to have. To not have a thousand missiles in the air at any given time. And uh, to actually be able to hear something other than your RWR pinging off the entire game. Uh, so that's it's always nice, especially when you don't exactly have the best plane or the meta plane currently. It makes it a little bit easier so you're not dealing with 10 F-15Cs on the other team. At the most, they, well, I guess they could still have 10, but yeah, you get what I mean. Um, so let's see what we can do. Maybe we can get an early R27 ER kill this time around. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much... The SU-27 is pretty much just... You, you kind of have to focus on the strength, and that's the... The ER and the ET, those are really the main strengths, at least for me. And you have to focus on getting yourself in a position to... To utilize them. It gets a little bit complicated when there's so many Fox 3s in the air. So you just have to be a little bit more patient. I didn't really show that in the last game, but kind of ran out of options there at the end. It's not really a carry plane. Um, it doesn't really have that capability unless it's, you know, if people are coming at you one-on-one, -on -one, then you can start doing things, but not so much on its own. Let's see, so we have three, four, four possibly at altitude on their team. I'm gonna lock on here. We already logged those off. Let's see. I do like the new sounds of the the uh, R27 ERs. It's pretty sweet. I don't think that's gonna close that gap, but we'll see. Looks like a missile that got lobbed at me there. Let's see how close is this. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. No, I definitely won't. We're gonna lose that lock. Because that person is very close to us. <laughs> there we go. Good timing. Perfect timing there. Uh, we're gonna stay cold a bit just because that's never fun. To <laughs> look over your shoulder and see a missile like that. Let's see. Although I will turn around and see if I can get an ER on this guy, get a lock potentially. I 
definitely being aggressive there, whoever that is. Drop some flares, that's fine. Drop some countermeasures, sorry, no flares. There we go, we'll lock him up again. So that missile can catch him out. You have to be a little bit careful, there could be people underneath me here. Yeah. There's going to be missiles coming from this direction now. I don't see any countermeasures. There we go. Very nice. I think I have most of their team on this side at this point. There's at least two there, and I know there's another one back off in the distance. And potentially even another one, so I need to just extend at this point. Extend back into where my team is. I don't think that has much of a chance of hitting me. Another thing to be careful of is just too too much speed in the SU-27. He is catching me, so I'm gonna have to do something here. I don't think that one. Ooh that was close. So if he pulls off, I'm gonna lob a missile at him, just so he's got something to think about. Nope, he's coming back our way. Really wants to lob his missiles off at us. Um, he's got to decide if he wants to come for me or the rest of my team. We're getting low here. I'm going to try to fall back into those mountains and see what I can do. See if I can take him on. I do have a teammate there. I might spook him a little bit. Ah. Oh. Let's see. I mean, this is kind of, you can't really be super offensive in, uh, in the SU-27 in the current state of the game. So he lobbed that and he's turning cold. He's going to go off and deal with the rest of my team. Probably what I would have done too. Let's see if this thing can catch us. I don't think it can. We've got to keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> I've seen too many, too many uh, missiles this game close and personal to be to be taking that for granted so he pulled off that's actually him over there drop a countermeasure and we're gonna keep going we defeated that one so we're good we're gonna head back on in we're quite a bit of ways away but that's okay he actually just got smacked by an hammer himself so that's good Good for us. Actually, no, he did not. He's still somewhere. Got a ping from over there. Not sure what that's about. We're a little low on fuel. I usually take about 34 minutes, so it's not a ton, but it's usually enough to keep it in the fight for a little bit. So we're actually going to cool it on the afterburner because I see this game going a little bit long. Although, if I can catch him, he looks like he's very low on fuel. We're gonna defend here, go into these mountains. See if we can defend this missile, see if we can get him with our ET. I don't think it hit him. Is he pushing the fight? I guess we'll find out when we get over this hill. I'm going to pre get this R-73 armed and ready to go. I'm going to go over this hill here. There, some chaff. See as little as we can. Some SU-27 
seven things here. That's tracking. Went after his flares. So it's okay. There we go. There he goes. There's three more, so I need to get ready for some more coming after me here. Take a look around. <laughs> okay. Take a look around. I think we're okay to RTB at this point. That looks like an enemy. I don't have any R73s left. Don't have any R73s left, so we're gonna return to that that secondary airfield at this point. Got to keep your eyes open because at this point, uh, if if I were me on the other team, I'd probably turn my radar off so that I couldn't see where where they were. And this is a pretty good opportunity to uh, sort of jump someone when they're not really looking. I'm tempted to go see how far that that smoke trail is, but I think it's fairly far. I don't think I have the time to deal with that. So uh, definitely a good idea to head back to the airfield if I can. I'm going to pop an order so they can't just pick me off off the runway. Oh, 1v2 at this point. I'm getting picked up by radar, so... I doubt they have the fuel to keep, keep the fight going. I finally did take one of them down, which is nice. Our is near. So let me, uh... I have enough fuel. It's always important to try to get back to the airfield with enough fuel to deal with someone. If you, if, if you need to. Um, it's like right now... is a tough call. Let me see if I can pick them up on radar. 36, 37. They're heading my way. I don't really have the fuel to be doing this. So let's go ahead and try to land really quick. And uh, we might get railed on the runway, but that's okay. It was our choice at least. 27 kilometers, he can close that in the time it's going to take me to land and get back up. But he could also just be bombing, so we'll see. Got to pull some hard G's to slow down here. Oops. It's a landing, I guess. Didn't realize there was such a short slope there. So we need to slow down here really quick, because that's exactly what I feared. There would be a missile coming at us there. 9, 8. It's going to be close. Amrams don't do a good job of tracking while you're on the ground. At least mine don't. So hopefully it lands somewhere over there. Let's see. I don't like rotating this too much there. We're going to take off. I don't think they have the fuel to push this. I mean, unless he's coming right over that hill. We're in trouble, but... Oh. There we go. It's a shame, but... Uh, oh well. And that's really kind of the state of the SU-27. The uh, F-15C can pretty much have its way with you. And uh, that's just how it goes. Um, hopefully I have a video here soon on the SU-20SM. Uh, hopefully I can more take the fight to the, the F-15C. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.